In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the top 3 soundbars available on the market today. We research and analyze their key features, as well as the factors you should consider when selecting the best soundbar for your needs. If you want more information and the best deals available, check out the links in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no particular order, so be sure to watch the video to the end so you don't miss a thing. First up, we have the Sony HT G700. For a soundbar that costs as much as the Sony HT G700, it has a lot of features, especially since it comes with both a soundbar and a wireless subwoofer. The HT G700 goes one step further than just being a great stereo system. It supports both Dolby Atmos and DTSX Elite surround sound formats, which puts it ahead of some high end soundbars. The HT G700 also has great sound processing and acoustics that create a sound that goes beyond the boundaries of your TV screen without losing track of where and how each sound is coming from. Premium soundbars like the Sonos Arc might have deeper bass than the HT G700 on its own, but the wireless subwoofer that comes with this one takes it to a level that most soundbars can't reach on their own. With the HT G700, the dialogue is also very good, so you won't miss anything even if you don't use the model's speech boosting mode. Overall, the HD Dynamic G700 sound quality and features might not be as good as those of the Sonos Arc or other premium soundbars, but those will cost you a lot more than the HT G700 will. The HT G700 is our pick for the best of the best because it is the best value for your money. Here are our pros and cons for this soundbar. Pros. It has an impressively expansive sound. Supports both Dolby Atmos and DTSX support has 4K HDR, HDMI pass-through. Cons. It falls short on the true height. The affordability comes with fewer features than premium competitors. Next up, we have the Sonos Arc, the premium smart soundbar. The Sonos Arc isn't called that by mistake. It's a revolutionary surround sound solution within a single soundbar meant to make you feel as though the audio experience is looping around you like an arc. Sure, ARC is the name given to the soundbar because of the HDMI interface it uses, audio return channel, but hearing it for yourself will quickly convince you that the former is more likely. In any case, this premium surround sound system is a force capable of filling a room with sound without taking up extra hardware space. The ARC uses Dolby's TrueHD and Dolby Digital Plus sound codecs to deliver the highest quality lossless audio found in cutting edge Blu-ray discs and some of the leading streaming services, and it further enhances its 3D soundscape by using Dolby Atmos object tracks to bounce certain sounds off the walls around you, giving the impression that this sound is coming at you from all angles. The ARC's basic cable connections reflect its equally minimalist all-in-one system construction to give an attractive soundbar package with a quality punch beyond what you may expect at first appearance, due to its handy smartphone app. Naturally, this premium soundbar isn't cheap, but rest assured that if money isn't a concern for you, there is perhaps no better option in the market right now than the ARC. Here are our pros and cons for this soundbar. Pros. Supports Dolby Atmos, TrueHD, and Dolby Digital Plus. It has a slim, design-friendly, all-in-one soundbar. It has amazing surround sound and music playback. Cons. It won't suit every room. The price point is higher than many can justify. Last but not the least, we have the Bose Smart Soundbar 600. The Bose Smart Soundbar 600 proves that you don't have to spend a lot of money or time to get the most out of your audio experience. The Bose Smart Soundbar 600 is a newer addition to the soundbar market, but the main reason it's on our list is that it does offer Dolby Atmos and a great audio experience in general at a reasonable price. The sound you'll hear here is significantly larger than what you would expect from a soundbar of this size with an audio profile that stretches far beyond the design's constraints to more closely resembling a surround sound system than what one would expect from a soundbar alone. The Bose 600 has an advantage over some of its competitors because the sound quality doesn't change when music is playing. It also has a wider range of connection options than some of its competitors. Bass depth is good, but less than that of soundbars coupled with subwoofers. But that is to be considered for a solo soundbar like this one. In fact, Given that it lacks a subwoofer, some may argue that the depth of the bass for the Bose 600 is on the higher end. Overall, the Bose 600 is a great quality soundbar 
with a wide range of sound and a lot of personality for its price, which puts it ahead of many of its competitors. Here are our pros and cons for the soundbar. Pros. It has a very compact design. Supports Dolby Atmos with up-firing speakers. It has a very simplified setup. Cons. Has only one HDMI port. Has slightly more modest bass. Does not support DTSX. That concludes our list of the top 3 soundbars in the market today. If you found this video helpful and informative, please go ahead and give this video a like. The links to all the products are in the description below. For more great recommendations and products, smash that bell so that you are notified every time we put up a new video. Thanks for watching.